Martin Gillespie from Hawker Richardson. Today I'm going to go through some programming, or basic programming, of the EDU 2A Top TA Torque and Angle Controller and DC Electric Screwdriver. So this is just going to be a basic introduction to the programming and uh, how it's done. So. Um, this is this is the run screen now, so it's the tool is ready to go. Um, so I'll just go through some of the menus, and I'll I'll skip a lot of the menus because we just want to do the basic uh, programming of this one, uh, which will be um, setting up the torque um, and doing some pretty basic uh, error proofing. So this screen here is the basic run screen. So if you want to get into programming, uh, you press the escape button and hold it. Okay, then we come into the program setting here, press OK, and now we have uh, about 36 options uh, to, uh, to work on to set up the programming. Um, so option number one is the program number. We press OK, we get into that uh, menu, and we've got a selection of one to eight different programs. Okay, so we'll go back to program one, OK, and then we go down to option two, is the uh, number of screws in your assembly. So if you've got five screws in your little uh, widget box, um, you would program five screws, so we just go OK, number of screws, there we go, five screws, OK, and then there's five screws program, but uh, for the sake of this we'll just turn that off, so I'll just go back in there and press, and we're back to off. OK, uh, option three, uh, it's asking you for the model of the screwdriver, so uh, in this case we've got a Pluto model, fi uh, Pluto 15, so uh, it's already programmed into, into there, so if I go OK, and see we can go through the different screwdriver models, so we've got a Pluto 15, so there we go. Um, Number four is uh, ramp, so that gives you a, a slow start option. Uh, so if you've uh, got a screw that's particularly hard to engage in a thread, you might want to uh, have a, a ramp of uh, you know, half a second, which will give you a slow start of half a second to let the screw engage into the thread. Uh, point three is the minimum setting, that's just the default, so we just leave it at that. Okay, now option five is the torque, um, and it's asking, it's got a 10% there, so um, what I'm trying to achieve here is when I'm setting up on our torque tester, um, the idea is, um, let's say I've got a 15 newton metre tool and I wanted to program, uh, I wanted to get a torque of seven and a half newton metres, well I put the torque in it as 50%, which is half of the 15 newton metres, which is the max torque of the screwdriver. Um, but what I've found is that it is, you always have to put in a percentage lower than the, uh, than the corresponding percent that you're trying to achieve for your torque, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to get a torque of three newton metres and theoretically that would mean that you would set a torque of around, uh, sorry, a torque percentage of around 20%. Um, but you see here that I've got to set 10%. It's just, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So um, you need to um, adjust that <clears throat> to suit when you're setting up. So. Um, Another thing to remember is that the RPM also uh, affects the torque, so you can uh, raise or lower the RPM to uh, fine tune the uh, torque setting that you're trying to achieve. Now, uh, if we go down to number six, uh, fast speed. This is good if you've got a particularly long screw uh, and you want to have the screwdriver running at maximum RPM. 
and then just before it reaches torque, you can slow it down to a much slower speed to get a more accurate reading. Um, so that's what that's asking for. Um, so I'll just skip through some of these because it's not, not required. So time off. Reverse torque uh, is max. You always want the reverse torque as, at max so that uh, you know if you, uh, you do get an error, uh, you can always undo the screw. Uh, so it will unscrew at uh, 20% 20, 20 higher than the max level of the, of the screwdriver. Prevailing torque, um, I'll go through that on another um, video. Rotation right, that's just for clockwise rotation. Defix allow on, that just you, allows you to uh, reverse the screwdriver, put the screwdriver in reverse if you, uh, if you get an error. And so you can reverse the screw out and drive it in again to get a uh, correct reading. Calibration on, we have that on so that uh, we can, uh, uh, so the screen will read what torque we've achieved. If that's off, you won't see a torque readout on the screen. Compensation, we can talk about that in another video. Torque min, okay, so as I said before, we're aiming for a torque of three Newton meters. Uh, so I've got a uh, window of um, uh, between 2.8 and 3.2 newton meters will be an okay. Uh, anything outside that uh, window will be will come up as an error. Okay, so you can uh, run this with a uh, barcode. You can uh, uh, communicate via the serial port. Um, you've got different functions on uh, how you want to set this up. So you can set it up to uh, angle. Um, torque and angle which is the most common one so that will read the torque and monitor the angle um, so that's what we set up at this time starting torque min that's the uh, um, the amount of torque where the angle encoder will start encoding the degrees of angle um, so you can change that up to a you know to a different reading but min min seems to work um, now you see here I've got angle min and angle max. Um, when I was setting this up, uh, I was running it down on the torque tester and I was getting pretty consistently a torque, uh, sorry, a, a, an angle of around 70 degrees. So I've put a window in there of minimum angle 50 degrees and maximum angle of 90 degrees. So anything outside that will show up as an error. And that's the 32 uh, different options in the menu screen. Right, um, so now I'm going to set up the uh, uh, calibration and the error proofing of our Culver DC electric screwdriver. So to do that, the first thing we do is to get into the program mode by pressing and holding the escape button. We've got our program setting there. Okay, and we're on the calibration screen or the option right now. Um, so I would go, okay, calibration on, okay. Um, so it's asking me now to enter the percentage. Um, now, when I was setting this up, I had the uh, torque percentage set up at 10%. So normally, uh, you would set the uh, uh, the calibration percentage about 5 to 10% under your uh, program torque percentage. So we'll go for 5% under. 5% uh, under 10 is 5%, I believe. 5%. Okay, start test. Wants me to do some rundowns and record what torque I achieve. So, let's, oops, put it in reverse. 
Okay, so I've got a torque of 2 2.1, 2.3, 2.3. All right, that will do. I'll, uh, I'll set the torque at 2.2. Okay. Okay. Two. Two. Okay. Now it wants me to enter per uh, percentage um, uh, above the initial torque setting that I programmed. So the initial torque percentage was 10%. So We'll go 5% above that, so it will now become 15%. So I, uh, make this 15%. Okay, so it's asking me again to put some rundowns in. I get 3.2. Three point two, so that will do. We'll put uh, three point two in there. So I go, okay, okay, three, okay, point two, okay, okay. So we have three point two put in there. Let's escape, and calibration is complete. Right, the next thing we want to do is set up our uh, error proofing windows so I'll go to talk min okay so we were aiming for a torque of three point uh, sorry three newton meters so I'll set the torque minimum at 2.8 okay Okay, I've already got the torque max set at uh, 3.2, so there's our um, minimum and maximum torque window of 2.8 to 3.2 Newton meters. So um, as long as we're in that range, we're going to get an OK signal. Anything outside of that range will register as a not OK. Now we're going to set up our, um, our um, minimum and maximum angles. So when I was doing these rundowns, I was getting um, a fairly consistent degrees of angle at uh, 70 degrees. So I think if I go to a, a minimum angle of 50 degrees and a maximum angle of 90 degrees, that should give us a a good window um, for an OK signal and anything outside them degrees of angle will register as a not OK. So the first thing I do is minimum angle, OK, 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 50 degrees, OK, OK. Now, uh, angle max. And there we have uh, 90 degrees in there already. So that's okay. So that should be it all pro programmed up and ready to go. So I press the escape button a couple of times and we're back into our run screen. Okay, so now we've done, uh, we've set up our, um, we've done the calibration and set up our high and low torques and our uh, high and low angles. So now we should um, get a reading on the torque tester and the uh, Colwell unit of around three Newton meters. And uh, so let's just do a rundown and see how we are. Okay, 2.94 newton meters, and that's okay. 
that's within our limit. 3.01, uh, screw OK, and you notice there the angle is 66 degrees, so that falls within our uh, angle window of between 50 and 90 degrees. Okay, 2.94, 66 degrees. .98. So it's consistently reading around 3 newton metres and um, giving us a, an angle which is, within our, um, which is within our setting range. Now, um, the error proofing comes into it uh, generally with the, well, with, the, with the angle. So um, let's say we've got a, a spring washer uh, or, or a gasket in our assembly and the operator forgets to put that gasket in, um, the, tool, the tool will still read um, three newton metres, but um, you know, how does the tool pick up that, that spring washer or a gasket's missing? Well, it's going to look at the torque signature and see what the angle is. Now, if they've missed the gasket, theoretically, you will get an angle which is lower than the settings that we've uh, programmed in. So uh, to simulate that, this uh, this rundown adapter here um, has a series of Beville washers in them. So if I put this in reverse and wind this all the way out, take this out, and if I remove, say, two of them washers. A bit fiddly, but uh, we'll get two of them out. Okay, take that one out, take that one out. Put this back in. Okay, so there's two two washers removed. Um, so that's going to change the joint. Signature. Now, what we should get here is a much lower angle. The torque will still be roughly around the same. Okay, so still reading three newton meters, but the angle has changed 12 degrees, so we've got an error signal. And that will consistently pick up that error. Eight, eight degrees. Uh, error minimum angle so that's uh, in uh, in a production facility things that might happen in, uh, in your assembly is if you've got a plastic housing and uh, the screw cracks the housing and uh, you get more deflection than normal that will give you an over angle which this will pick up and uh, give you an error uh, and again as I said if you if you're missing a spring washer or a gasket it's going to pick it up as a um, uh, minimum angle error. Other things that it, will, it could pick up, uh, it will pick up is uh, uh, if there's damage to the thread, um, it will pick that up and give you a, give you an error. Uh, if the operator re-hits the screw, so um, if they um, just hit that again, uh, you'll get an error there. Because sometimes when you've got uh, you know, five screws and the operator's screwed in uh, uh, you know, four screws and then uh, re-hits the fourth screw again um, you know it will register that you've talk, get, got the correct torque on five screws but um, you know number number five screw is actually missing because the operator's re-hit number four so um, it just picks up your, your errors so there's your error proofing um, done on your on your culver DC electric screwdriver okay so just to recap um, on what we've done today with our training um, once you've uh, once you've finished doing your rundowns all the data is stored in this little USB which can then be downloaded onto your PC and stored within your PC for future quality audits And 
If further down the track you need any assistance on programming or setting up the Culver um, DC electric screwdriver, you can come to Hawker Richardson and uh, someone will be happy to help and show you how to run these units.